OMG. Furious Princess, Anne's brutal confession exposed all. Megan's rotten face exposed on air. In a world where royal drama often eclipses even the most scandalous celebrity gossip, one moment from a recent interview has sent shockwaves through both the monarchy and the media. Princess Anne, known for her candid nature and no-nonsense attitude, found herself at the center of a firestorm when she made a brutal confession about Meghan Markle. The remark, seemingly offhand, has ignited discussions about royal rivalry, media manipulation, and the complexities of modern celebrity. What did and say that left everyone gasping? And how does it reflect deeper tensions within the royal family? Buckle up as we dive into this captivating saga. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Princess Anne, the only daughter of Queen Elizabeth II, is no stranger to public scrutiny. Often viewed as the most straightforward member of the royal family, she has built a reputation for her frankness and dedication to her duties. During a recent televised interview aimed at promoting her charitable work, the conversation took an unexpected turn when the topic of Meghan Markle emerged. While discussing the challenges faced by modern royals, Princess Anne's comments quickly shifted from diplomatic to downright cutting. Her remarks about Meghan's public persona and the perception of her life as a royal were not just candid. They were brutally honest. This moment has not only drawn media attention, but also reignited discussions about Meghan's tumultuous relationship with the royal family. In the interview, Princess Anne stated, It's hard to maintain a facade when the truth is so far removed from reality. Although she didn't mention Meghan by name, the context was clear. It was a pointed critique of how Meghan has navigated her transition from Hollywood star to royal family member, and the implications of living under the relentless scrutiny of the press. The phrase rotten face was not uttered directly, but Anne's intention was unmistakable. Many interpreted her comments as a reflection on Meghan's perceived struggles with authenticity and her experiences since stepping down from royal duties. The media frenzy that followed was instantaneous, with headlines sensationalizing the moment and sparking debates across social platforms. Within hours of the interview airing, social media erupted. Hashtags like hashtag Princess and and hashtag Meghan Markle began trending as users weighed in on the confrontation. Supporters of Princess and praised her for her honesty, while fans of Meghan rallied to defend her against what they perceived as unnecessary cruelty. Media outlets jumped on the story, dissecting every word and analyzing the implications of Anne's comments. Some commentators argued that such critiques reflect a broader trend within the royal family, where traditional values clash with contemporary expectations and narratives. Others saw it as a blatant attack on Meghan's character, further complicating an already fraught relationship between the Sussexes and the Windsors. To fully understand the implications of Princess Anne's comments, one must consider the historical context of royal rivalries. The British monarchy has a long history of internal conflicts, often played out in the public eye. From the tumultuous relationship between Diana and the rest of the royal family to the ongoing tensions between Harry and William, the dynamics often mirror those of any high-profile family, albeit with a royal twist. Princess Anne's bluntness can be seen as a continuation of this tradition. Her willingness to speak her mind reflects a generational divide within the royal family, where younger members like Harry and Meghan challenge traditional norms and expectations. This conflict raises questions about the future of the monarchy and how it adapts to a rapidly changing world. Another layer to this drama is the role of the media in shaping public perceptions of the royal family. The British press has historically played a significant role in creating and perpetuating narratives around royal figures. Meghan, in particular, has been a focal point of intense media scrutiny since her entry into the royal family. Critics argue that the media's relentless coverage often distorts the truth, creating an environment where public figures are vilified for their choices. In this context, Princess Anne's comments can be seen as both a reflection of media narratives and a response to them. By expressing her views so candidly, and may have inadvertently contributed to the ongoing cycle of criticism directed at Meghan. The fallout from this incident also brings to light the psychological toll that public life can take on individuals, particularly women. Meghan Markle has been open about the mental health challenges she faced while in the royal family, 
including feelings of isolation and anxiety. The harshness of public scrutiny can exacerbate these issues, making it difficult for figures like Meghan to navigate their roles while maintaining their mental well-being. Princess Anne's comments, though perhaps intended to be straightforward, can be interpreted as lacking empathy for Meghan's situation. By exposing what many see as Meghan's vulnerabilities, and may have inadvertently added to the pressure on her, further complicating an already fraught relationship. As the dust settles from Princess Anne's brutal confession, it's crucial to consider the broader implications for the royal family and its public image. The monarchy stands at a crossroads, where the need for authenticity clashes with centuries of tradition. Moving forward, there is an opportunity for understanding and reconciliation, not just within the royal family, but also between the monarchy and the public. Rather than perpetuating rivalries, the royal family could benefit from a more unified approach that embraces the challenges of modern life. Acknowledging the complexities faced by members like Meghan, while also valuing the contributions of seasoned royals like Anne, could pave the way for a healthier discourse around the monarchy.